guys and girls, I'm your host, Nomadi Junction, and welcome to another part of building the RMS Olympic, or in some cases the RMS Titanic. And in today's video, we are going to open up with, we're going to be doing frames 89 to 102, which will encompass the entire forward section of the well deck. And we'll be doing the cargo hold as well in today's part, okay? Uh, first of all, I'd just like to begin with all my new subscribers who have joined my channel. Welcome to the show. And I hope you stick around for a long time as well as I continue this marathon project, which has been taking a few months now, but we are getting there. So let's begin. So it will be frames again today, you guys, as we make our way across the bow. We're nearly there, but this section will be covering the entire forward well deck, the cargo holds, and the beginning of the forecastle deck. So we are getting there. So we are going to begin on frame number 89. So as we get down here, 89. And as before, it, the frame, the keel is exactly the same. Oh, this is three rows at the back, bottom, three spaces in between each frame, and a gap there at the top as well of two, which I'll just show you the one, two. There you go. And obviously mark your way at the top as well. So let's begin. So to begin with, let me just get my piece of paper so I remember everything this time. I'm getting better at this, hopefully, touch wood. All right, start here. We need to go 18 across. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I just need to get a sea lantern as well because I forgot to get that. There we go. The problems have started already. There we go. Okay, and then going up, we need seven lots of three. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven and then after that you need two three lots of two one two three but replace the n1 with the c mountain there we go okay so uh sorry i'll start again see look the problems are starting again you have to replace the inner one with the c lantern so it goes like that there we go now working away upwards we need to do a 4-4-3-3-4, four, four, three, three, four. but we need to do it in the form of steps. So what I mean by that is, is do a 2, move the inner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, there you go, and then 3, and then a 3, and then a 4. The C lantern to the side, there you go. And going up, we need to do three lots of four, but not in the form of steps. We can just put them next to each other this time. So that's one, four, four, and a four. And the sea lantern goes on top. A bit like the frame behind it, just there, you see. Okay, and then we need to do a four, four, five. So that's one, two, no, sorry, four, and a four, <laughs> and then a five, three, four, five. Scene lantern goes to the side of it. And then after that, we need to do three lots of four again. So that's one, one four, two fours, three fours. Okay. And then the scene lantern goes on the top. Next stage will be a three, a five, and a five. But it goes on the top this time. One, two, three, and then a five. Four, five, and then another five there. So that's three, four, five, and the sea lantern goes to the side of it. Okay, and then on top of the sea lantern, we need a two. And then next to it, again, is a lever. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The sea lantern goes to the side. And then after that, it is another eleven. Oh, not black terracotta. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the sea lantern goes on the top. Followed by a four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Top of the deck. And also don't forget to do your blocks of quartz on the inside. There we go. But obviously where the sea lanterns are, that is where the deck frames are. To your deck frames. So I will be filling in all them later, but I'll just do a little example here. So we just pull this right across towards the end there you go you can just join it up 
And another thing you should also do, guys, is get your signposts and start numbering the frames at the top. It makes it a bit easier, rather than going to right to the bottom. So you're working your way up. There you go. So you know which frames I'm talking about. Okay. Right, so that is frame 89 done. So we're now going to go back down. We're going to do 90 now. And this is 18 again. So, so we'll just pull this right across. Because we know that's 18 there. Okay, and then we're doing seven lots of three again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I also forgot to do on here. Remember to pull this interior frame across as well. Oh, which we'll do for here as well. There we go. And then after that, oh, excuse me. Three lots of two. One, two, three. Get your sea lantern, replace the inner. And also as well, remember to pull from the inside top as well. So the all up deck. There we go. Okay, heading upwards now, once again, in step fashion. We need to do the 4-4-3-4. Four, 2-3-4. Four, three, four. Three, four. 1-2-3-4. 2-3. Four. 3. 1-2-3-4. Three. Three, With a sea lantern, just the left-hand side. And after that, we go up by 3 lots of 4. That's 4. Oh, excuse me. 2-3-4. Two, 2-3-4. Three, four. Two, three. And sea lantern goes right on the top. There we go. So after that lot, it is now a 445. So that's four and a four and a five with the sea lantern to the right here. That's a look at it. Okay, after that one is another three lots of four. So that's one four, two fours, three fours. Sea lantern goes on the top. And then afterwards it is a three, a five, and a five. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then after that it's a two. Followed by another eleven. Check pull right to the top here. Sea lantern. To the right hand side. I want to double check things guys. Oh, I do apologize. See, that has gone wrong. Let me just get rid of this last frame. I forgot I'm going up by one. As you see, we're approaching another curve here in the hole. So after the sea lantern, it's a three and then it's a ten. Which takes you to the top there. Sea lantern to the right hand side. Okay. And then up eleven and sea lantern on top. There we go. Followed by another four. So that is frame 90 now done. Okay. So let's move on. Okay, so we're now on to check time. We're back onto frame number 91 now. So to begin with, you need to have a 17. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then going upwards, we do seven lots of three again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And obviously, pull it in from the center of the keel. Okay. And then three lots of two. One, two, three. Sea lantern on the inside and pull across on the center. Okay, so uh, like I say, I do apologize if my videos are quite long, but obviously, this is a detailed build of this ship and we want to get it right. Uh, so, apologies, some of my uh, videos are about an hour long. <laughs> I'll try to make it quick as I can. All right, so steps again. So, we're doing the four, four, three, three, four. So, it's four, one, two, three, four. Three and a 
three, and then a four. Sea lantern on the right hand side. Okay. So on the next stage now, after the four, four, three, three, four, we do three lots of four next to each other. So that's one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, and the sea lantern at the top. Okay, and then after that, it's four, four, five. On top of the sea lantern. Three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Sea lantern on the right hand side. And after the four, four, five, three lots of four. So that's four, four, and a four. Sea lantern on top. And then you do a three and a five and a five. One, two, three. And now five. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by one, two, three, four, five. Sea lantern on the right hand side. And then we do a four. Two, three, four, and then a nine. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sea lantern on the right. Okay, and then up eleven, sea lantern and a four. So we'll go to the top here. There we go. Get sea lantern. And then a four. Three, four. There we go. So as you see, we're starting to work our way inwards of the ship. Okay, so that's frame 91. Now we're on 92. Let me just mark it off on my list here so I don't get confused, which is quite easy for me to do. Right, now this is when things are starting to change, so please pay attention. Famous last words. So, we're now going to do a 16. Do a 16 on the bottom. Pretty much one in. And then you do a 4. Two, three, four, and then you still do six lots of do six lots of three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Join it up from the middle, and then three lots of two. So that's one, two, three. Sea lantern on the inside. And join up from the centre. And once again, do the four, four, three, three, four. On to as a step version. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And a three. And a three. And a four. Sea lantern on the right hand side, not the top. <laughs> Okay, so after that, we need to do three lots of four again. So that's one, two, three. Sea lantern at the top. Okay, and then a four, four, five on top of the sea lantern. So that's a four, four, and then a five. Sea lantern to the right. And then three lots of four again. Sea lantern on top. Four. Four. Sea lantern on top. There we go. And then a three and a five and a five. Two, three. Five. And a five. Sea lantern to the right hand side. Okay, and this time we need to do a five and an eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sea lantern to the right. And after doing that, you need to do it 11 and a four again, including the sea lantern, which goes on the top. Two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so that's frame number 92 completed, so now on to 93. So let's get down there and get on with this. Weather well, is definitely quite improving in the UK now. It's getting quite hot in here today. So to start off with, we need 15. So we'll pull it straight across, one by one. Okay, now you need a four. Four 
and then six lots of three again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three lots of two. The sea lantern on the inside. Okay, there we go. There we go. So we're moving upwards now. So as you know, it's just two there, and then a four, two, and a four, two, and a three, then a three, and then a four with a sea lantern on the right hand side. Okay, and after that, it's three lots of fours. Sea lantern on the top. Okay, then it's a four, four, five. Four, four, and a five. Sea lantern to the right. And then three lots of fours. Sea lantern on the top. And then a three, five, five. So that's a three, that's a five, that's a five. Sea lantern to the right, and then we do a one. Okay, and next to it, you need to do a five. It's so one, two, three, four, five, because it's the start of a new slope. And then it is, I think it's an eight. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it's an eight. And the sea lantern goes to the right. And that is followed by. Still with your smooth stone. An 11. Smooth stone at the top. Followed by a four. Yeah, so on that one, it's a one. Just on top. With a five to the right of it. Followed by the eight. And sea lantern to the right. Going straight up to the top. There you go. Okay, folks. So we're now on to number 94. So I'll just fly down here. So we're going out by 13 this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Ooh, 12, 13. Let me just check that. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're going two in from the last time now. <clears throat> so now do a four. And then seven lots of three. Seven lots of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you do two lots of two. With the sea lantern on the inside and join up from the keel as before as I see we're starting to go a bit more steeper in now as we get closer towards the bow and hopefully the uh, frames will be quick, quick and easier to do famous last word so once again do your steps and it's up by four and then another four and then a three then a three then a four. Sea lantern on the right hand side. Okay, and after that section, we go up by three lots of four. One, two, three. And the sea lantern goes at the top. Okay, and then it's a four, four, five. Four, four, five. Sea lantern on, uh, will be on the right hand side. There we go. And after that section, it's three lots of four again. Four. Four. There we go. Sea lantern, and that goes on the top. And then it is a three, five, and a five. There's another five. And last five. And the sea lantern goes on the right-hand side. Okay. And then this time you go up by two. 
Coming to the side is a five. Three, four, five. And then a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And your scene lantern goes to the right. There we go. And then after that, you go up by one. And then to the side of it, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the sea lantern goes at the top. And to top it off, you do a four. Okay, there you go. So that is frame number 94. So we're on to 95 now. Okay. And you start off with a 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you do a 4. 4. And then after that, you do 7 lots of 3 again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Followed by the two twos. Oop, got completely wrong there. 2. And of course, get your sea lantern. It's on the inside. Followed by joining up from the centre of the keel. Pull that right across. Here we go. Okay. Uh, do your 4 4 3 3 4 again with the steps. Move that one. 2 3 4. 4. And a 3. And a 3. Followed by the 4. Okay, and after completing that one, uh, you need to do three lots of four again. That's one, two, three. Once again, sea lantern at the top. And after completing that section, you just do a four, four, five. So that's a four. That's a five. That's a five then. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Hang on, where have I gone here? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, famous. Sorry, it's a four, four, five. So yeah, four, four, and then the five. Come on, Matt, you got this. Oh, controller's gone off again. Definitely going to invest in a new uh, Xbox One control panel console, pad soon. I'm a little bit broke at the minute as well. Damn it. Okay, and then three lots of four. One, two, three. And a sea lantern at the top. And after completing that, it's a three, a five, and a five. So that's one, two, three. And do a five. And then a five. Sea lantern goes on the right. And now this time, this is where it changes. Do a three. Okay. Then do a five. Then do a six. Two, three, four, five, six. Of course, you see lantern goes to the right. Control has gone off again. And then this time, you do a 2. Followed by a 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. See lantern at the top. Finished by the 4. 2, 3, 4. There we go. So we see we're getting closer to that 4 castle deck now. Okay, so let's go back to the bottom of the keel and run to 96. We're halfway there. Okay, so bottom is 12. 12 again, guys. Let's double check this is 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and then after that, you do 4 and a th 4, and then 7 lots of 3. 1, 2, 3. 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then a two lots of two. Followed by the sea lantern. And as usual, just pull in from the centre of the keel. There we go. And then do your step. And then it's a four step four step <laughs> and it's a three you know the routine by now guys and girls sorry three and then a four followed by sea lantern on the right hand side okay 
Okay, next one is three lots of four again. I feel like I'm just repeating myself, really, aren't I? <laughs> so, three lots of four, sea lantern on the top, and then it's a four, a four, and then the five. And that's placed by the sea lantern on the right. Okay, and then three lots of four again. One, two, the sea lantern at top okay and then we do a three and then a five followed by another five and the sea lantern goes to the right okay this way it changes now okay so bear with me get my notes ready okay so this time you go up by four and then you're followed by a five Three, four, five, followed by another five. And your sea lantern goes to the right. And then you do a three. And then you do a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Okay, sea lantern on top. Two, three, four. There we go. So that is frame 96 done. So let's get on to 97. Keep the ball rolling, so we've got six to go. Okay, folks, so we're now on to frame 97. Now, to begin with, we need to go out by 11. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one in from the previous one, which was a 12, and then we do a four, and then once again, seven lots of three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven followed by two twos and just replace the inner one with the sea lantern and join up from the center so like i say folks keep your comments coming i like to hear from you and any questions you might have about the build i won't hesitate to answer you when i get down to it and also if you are building the ship um yeah by all means do so as a downloadable project but just give us a mention uh just let us know that um, that you are building it as well because i would like to see it I mean, see what designs you come up with as well, building your own interiors as well. Okay, so, but uh, I would very much like to see, because I'm very much a person that likes watching builds on, Milcraft, on Minecraft. Not Millcraft, what am I saying? Minecraft, as well as doing it myself. Okay, so let's do the 4-4-3-3-4 four, four, three, three, four. football talk again. So that's a 4, go to step, and then another 4, and then a 3 three and then a four but we see lantern to the right hand side okay and then we do three lots of four so that's four four and a four see lantern at the top okay and then it's a four four five four four and then the five and the sea lantern to the right hand side and then three lots of four. So that's one, two, three lots of four there. And you see lantern goes at the top. And after that, it's a three, a five, and a five. So that's a three, a five, and a five. Uh, once again, the sea lantern goes to the right. Okay, and now we need to do a four here. And then a two lots of five. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the sea lantern to the right. And once again, get your smooth stone. And you need to do a four, followed by an eight. So one, two, three, oh, sorry, fingers slipped there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And your sea lantern goes at the top. And then you finish off with a four. That's another frame done. Okay. Right, so on to the next one, which is 98. So we got five more to go. So let's get cracking. So once again, we need 11. One, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then a four, followed by seven threes. 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So that's seven, followed by two lots of two. Once again, get your smooth sea lantern and drawing up the center. And what I think about doing in my future videos is actually start designing the interiors of the room as well. I don't want to keep doing frames all the time. Like I say, it'd be good to get to the end, but also don't forget we've got the stern to finish as well. So what I might start doing, uh, once I've gone up to the fort castle, I might start doing the boiler rooms next, and maybe the cargo holes. Let me know what you think, and maybe start doing some interior rooms as well. Okay, so once again, just do your step. Do a four, and then another four, and then a three, and then a three, and then a four. But one thing I am committed to do, I am going to finish this project. Okay, so after doing that, we need to do uh, three lots of four. So that's one four, two fours, three fours, and the sea lantern goes at the top. And then a four four five. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three, four, five. And yeah, I mean, this project is daunting to do but I am committed to finishing it. So there we go, three lots of four now. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sea lantern at the top. And then a three and two lots of five. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sea lantern to the right. And then we need to do a four. And two lots of five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Sea lantern on the outside. And then to finish up with, we need to go up by five. And to the right, we need to do eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on a minute, gone wrong then here a bit. So three, four, five, and then to the side, we need to do. 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, it's a 7. We've gone up too high. Okay, so as you can see there, the curve is just absolutely fine. So it is a 7. Must be my writing I'm looking at here. And then to top it all off, it is a 4. So there you go. So that's on to frame 99. We need to triple digits here. Right, to go out with, just check the time as well. Yeah, fine. So we're going to go out by 10. So that's, uh, let's double count it. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. And then a 4. 3, 4. And then 7 lots of 3 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 lots of 2. And also do your sea lantern as well, please. Okay, back to the smooth stone. <laughs> okay. And then once again, it's the 4-4-3-3-4. Four, four, three, three, four. So I'll do you two. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. And once again, it's a three. Then a three. Then a four. Sea lantern to the right hand side, followed by three lots of four. 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 Sea lantern on the top. Okay. And then you do a four, four, five. Four, four, five. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Sea lantern to the right hand side. Okay. And then three lots of four again. So that's one, two, three lots of four. Okay, sea lantern on the top. And then a three, five, and a five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sea lantern to the right hand side. And then a four, a five, and a five. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See your lantern to the right hand side. And then a five. Three, four, five. Yep. 
followed by an 8. I'm sure it's 8, or is it 7 again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Apologies, it's 7. There we go. Finish with a 4 at the top. 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that, that is that done. So now onto 100. Coming down. Now this is actually the last frame of the well deck before we get into the four cattle deck. So the frame is going to go higher on 101. Okay. Okay, so we're onto frame 100 now, guys. We've now hit the 100 mark on the bow. So let's get it done. So we're going out by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, <laughs> 9, 10. We'll check that. 3, 6, 9, 10. Yep, yeah, out by 10. And then we're going up by 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 7 lots of 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 lots of 2. And replacing the inner with the sea lantern. And just join up from the centre of the hull. There we go. So I said before, guys, this is the last frame before the forecastle deck. So the next two frames, we're going up an extra deck. So I'll do your step again. Get rid of all that. So you're up. It's a four. Four. Get rid of that. Three. Get rid of that. Three. Four. Sea lantern on the outside. Okay. And then three lots of four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sea lantern there. And then after the three lots of four, you do a four, then a four, and then a five. Sea lantern on the right hand side. Okay, and then another three lots of four. And a sea lantern on the top. Okay, and then we do a three on the three at the top, and two lots of five. That's five, two, three, four, five. Sea lantern to the right hand side, and then a four, and then a five, and then a five. Sea lantern on the right hand side. Okay, and after that we need to do a two. Let's check my notes here, guys. Hopefully I've not gone wrong here. Yeah, two. And then a five. Hang on, hang on guys, I've gone wrong here somewhere. Let me just backtrack my steps. Alright, just want to check everything first before I go any further, because I've gone this far. I don't want to screw it up just now. Three, three, four. Okay, so there's three lots of four. Yep, done that. And then a four, four, and a five. Yep, done that. And then a four, four, four. Yep, done that. And then a three, and then a five, and then a five. Yep, done that. And then a four, and then a five, and then a five. Sea lantern on the right hand side. Right, so it's four. And then it's a five, but why am I going down one here? No, this is wrong. Yeah, it should be a five. It's a five, guys. Yeah, it's definitely a five. Five. What is it? Ah. <sighs> Checking my notes on the last one. Right, now I know where I've gone wrong. Right, so if we go back to frame 99 here, get rid of the top two sections. So I do apologise, guys. See, I knew I'd cock up somewhere. So it's a one going up, and then a five, three, four, five, and then a seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sea lantern on the top. And then a four. Can't follow my own instructions today. I do apologize. So coming back to this frame. 
So it's going up by two, and then it's a five, three, four, five, and followed by a six, two, three, four, five, six. Sea Lantern at the top, followed by a four. So that is the last of the world deck frames. Ah, I do apologize for that. Okay. So that's how she's looking. So we are getting there. So last two to go. Let's get it done. Right. So we we'll start off on frame 101. And we need to go out by nine. Now this is the start of the four castle. So we are going to go higher. So it's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then a four, two, three, four. And then seven lots of three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five six seven two lots of two replace it with the sea latin the inner one and join up from the center of the keel to get my smooth stone <sighs> just two frames to go on a mess up oh well i think it's getting tradition on these videos okay so do your step take away the inner i just want to check my time guys yeah fine so let's do a four then do a two, but then replace it with a four, then do a two, then it's a three, two, then a three, two, and then I finish off on a four. Get your sea lantern on the right hand side. Okay. And after that, you need to do three lots of four. One, two, three. Three lots of four. Sea lantern at the top, and then a four at the top. Followed by a number four and then a five. Five sea lantern on the right hand side. And then going back to three lots of four. So that's a four, 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 sea lantern at the top. Okay, and then a three, one, two, three, and then a five, and then a five, and then the sea lantern goes around the right hand side. And then you got to do a four, followed by a five, and followed by another five. And the sea lantern goes on the right hand side. Okay, and then we do a four, three, four. Okay, and then a five, one, two, three, four, five, followed by a four. And I've gone wrong again. I'm missing. I'm missing a section out here, guys. Let me just get back to the start of that one. All right. So let me go through my uh, plan again. So it's ah, uh, so it's four, four, three, three, four. That's fine. Okay. And then three lots of four. That's done. And then a four, a four, and a five. That's that done. And then three lots of four, done. And then a three and a five and a five and then a four followed by a five and a five ah this is where i've gone wrong so it is now a three and then a five three four five followed by another five three four five and then the sea lantern goes on the right hand side wrong again what's going on today oh that's where i've gone wrong it's a well, it's definitely a three so that's a five so going up it's a... no it's right no it's not yeah sea lantern goes on the top oh i'm flustered what does it go to the right No, it's got to go on the top. So at the top here, it's one, two, three, four. And then it's a five. One, two, three, four, five. And then it's a four. Two, three, three, four. Followed by the sea lantern on the top. There we go. Got it now. <sighs> so that's the height of the four castle deck. So we're going to go and do our last frame now. I think I might have to do another jump cut here because I'm going to run out of time with all these corrections. You know, none of us are perfect in this day and age. I hope uh, you're all watching the video first before you're building it. 
Okay, folks, so we're on frame 102 now, so it's the last one to go. Here we go. So we do a 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then a 4. And then 7 lots of 3 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 lots of 2. Replacing the inner one with the sea lantern and join up from the center of the keel okay here we go right and then do your step so we start off with a four two three four two across and then another four two across and then a three two across and then another three two across and then a four okay so after that we do three lots of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. sea lantern goes on the top okay and then a four four and a five so it's one two three four one two three four one two three four five and the sea lantern goes on the right hand side Okay, and then another three lots of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sea lantern goes at the top. Okay, and then a three. And then a five. Followed by another five. Sea lantern goes on the right hand side. Followed by a four. Followed by a five, and followed by another five, and the sea lantern goes on the right hand side. Okay, and then it's a four, then it's a five, two, three, four, five, and then it's a four. Sea lantern goes on the top, and this is the forecastle deck run now, so stay on top. One, two, three, four. Followed by a five, three, four, five, followed by a four. There you go, guys. Sea lantern at the top, and we are done. There you go. So, so we're, we've completed now the frame for the well deck. So, next stage now, as usual. If you go on the outside, as you begin to frame it, get your grey concrete, and every sea lantern you see, make sure you cover it with a grey concrete block well you know uh, yeah grey not light grey and as soon as you get to the hull you can just start joining it up but like I said make sure you're always facing the, in the centre of the ship because every time you see one going inwards you go on the next block along like that there we go a long 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 Long, 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 and long, 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 long. Get right to the end here. There you go. All done. Oh wait, one more to go. So I can just join these up here. Done. As I say, do that for the next couple of decks down. And remember your crimson planks for the bottom. And of course, on the inside, we need to do each deck up to about here. So remember, it's like one, two, three. It's your fourth set of sea lanterns up. So we just pull this out here and go up in the center. So this is G deck. We're on here. G deck. The bottom of G deck. Lowest deck. Well, lowest official deck. All below is all going to be like the engine rooms and the boiler rooms and the cargo holds. So there you go. Uh, make sure you get your quartz, block of quartz, put it on the inside. On each smooth stone between each deck. Let's like say once you come to a sea lantern, pull it right across towards the center line here and start marking each frame as you go. Okay? Alright, so let's add that one up. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to do a jump cut here now, guys. And also, as well, please do the forecastle deck. You can pull the smooth stone from the from the from the top from the centre 
just got to remember you're doing a new line about there, roughly. Let's see if I can pull it across here. So I'm going to do a jump cut now, guys. I'm going to finish all these deck frames. I'm also going to do the quartz blocks on the inside. And don't forget the bottom with the orange concrete. It's nine blocks high down there. Nine blocks high, but we need to do the quartz first before we start filling it in. Okay, so I will be back just as soon as I've finished framing one, two, three, four decks worth. So it shouldn't be too long, but let's hope not. Okay, so we'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, there you go, folks. It's all completed now. As you see, the inside frames, I've got the quartz, the grey concrete, and I've connected all the frames as well, and the exterior. As I said for red crimson planks, red concrete blocks, as we've done in the last episode. And I just wanted to show you here when you get to do the forecastle deck. Okay, this is how it looks. As I say, it's one, two, three blocks at the top. So you get your black terracotta like this. Okay, so obviously you fill in this spot, this spot, and this spot. Oh, excuse me. So I might as well connect those up there as we speak there we go and obviously I need to connect this section here and there okay so above this section here on these two frames you need block of quartz going upwards and even goes to the top of the sea lantern there I'll do it for this side and just fill in the interiors as well there there you go And also on this section here, on the front of it, where the sea lantern is, and I think it's got all. Yes, it's got all about roughly up to here. So you, all you'll need to do is go across the front towards the centre, and it's the same for the other side as well. Okay, so basically we're going over the smooth stone. Okay, so I'll do the same here. So I'll cover up the smooth stone. There you go. And fill in that section and that section. There you go. All done. Right, so I'm going to do the cargo holes now. Because, like I say, once I've finished the cargo holes, I'll fill in all this section here. Just give you a final vert of what it looks like. But also, don't forget on the inside, remember after doing your black terracotta on the outside, I'll just give you the info here. Remember, it's just. Going across, you're facing the center as you fill it in, and as you fill it in on the inside, obviously where the grey concrete is, you just put another line, basically hiding the sea lanterns there. Then you get your um, oh excuse me, <laughs> voice is going now. Light grey concrete. I'll just put it on that. There you go. And start to fill it in as well. Basically, get all the black terracotta on the inside. There you go. So, like I say, it's just the same. Like I say, same as the previous part. As we're filling in the ship as we go. Okay. And obviously, the yellow concrete as line as well. You just continue. It's to continue going straight across the line of the hull. So, remember, if you're doing Titanic, the line is just below the white quartz there at the top. So, say if you're doing Titanic. You'd put the line here, but as I say, I'm doing the Olympic, so it's a couple of spaces below. So this all will be black terracotta. There we go. Right onto the cargo holes now. Now I've been marking all the numbers of the frames. So we're going to start off with cargo hole number three. So if you get yellow concrete here, you need to go to frame 88. Which is roughly one, two, three, four, five, about five, five frames in from the C deck wall there. So replace this, put a yellow bit there, get your smooth stone. We are going up three high, two, three, like that. Okay. And then what you need to do, go into the side of the ship, because I say we're in the centre here. You need to go across. And it's a width of 12 so that's one there so that's one 
sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, it's, it's eleven, well, it's twelve blocks going from the centre. So on the other side, it's basically eleven blocks as well. But what I'll do, I'll make it twelve, just be on the safe side. There you go, twelve. Now you need to go to frame number 92 now, which is this one here. As I say, put a yellow block down, mark it all. Back to smooth stone, too high. And then we'll go 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the block below, place it with yellow concrete. But also get your smooth stone. Mark it down. Same for this side as well. So there you go. Place the smooth stone with yellow concrete. And the top. Go straight across. And you do same for the bottom as well. So what you'll need to do now is to remove some smooth stone. Basically everything that's in the center here. So all this can go. Okay. So this is cargo hole number three. Okay, there you go. You get the idea, so it looks a bit like that. Right, onto cargo hole number two, which is on starting on frame 95, which is this one here. So like I say, we'll just remove that one. I say we'll just put three put it three high. You get the idea now, so you pull it 12 across. So let's line up this one, so it's that one there. Place the smooth stone on the frame. There you go. And then it goes up to, skip my notes here, frame 101, which is literally the end of the ship here. Okay, so it was literally touching the wall. Okay, so I'll just pull it right across there. Sorry, got that one there. There we go. So I'll just replace that one. Yeah. Okay. But like I said, I don't want it right next to the wall. So what I'm going to do now is get some more smooth stone, put it across there, and also marks the end with the yellow concrete there. There you go. So that's cargo hatch number two. And like I said before, just remove. So it's moved down. You have to mark all this line here. There you go. And get rid of these lines here. Now what you need to do is repeat the process on the next three decks down. Now what I mean by that is be pretty easy. So we might as well do this now. And I think we're gonna end the video there as well. Okay, so underneath here, basically all you need to do is go downwards. See, we're on D deck here. I think it's where they have that party in the film Titanic. There we go. And then as soon as you've got the line, just pull it right across. And I'll see that here. So you get the idea. What I'll do, I'll just uh, do this cargo here and then I'll do a jump cut to the other one. So, just join up the line here for you guys. There you go. Just remove. And what I'll do as well, just to give you an idea where the cargo hold is, just put a grey line around here. Just to give you an idea when we do the interiors. There we go. So I say remove these interior frames. So basically frames 96 to 100 can go. But I'll say just the center here. Oof. You'd have to excuse me, I think I'm getting a sore throat coming on as I do this. So like I say, there you go. So it is looking a bit more like a ship there.
cargo hold ship. So I'm going to do the next two down, so bear with me. Uh, like I said, the forward well deck was on C deck, and it was one of the two well decks of the Titanic. The well decks were steerage zones, I, well, from what I read. Basically, it was the only areas the third class passengers could sort of mingle on the outside of the ship, rather than the inside. As you say, all the upper deck promenades were reserved for first and second class. So really, this was the only area that the third class was uh, allowed to mingle on the outside. On the outside. They want to go out on deck. So there, folks, I lost track again. I ran out of time. So like I say, I've only got 10 minutes recording time on Xbox One. And I went and I was waffling along and I lost track. <laughs> so here we are, we continue as well. So like I say, well decks were typically reserved for third class passengers aboard white style vessels. It's the only place they can mingle outside. Right, so let's say I'm on to E deck here. Say just replace each one as you go down with the yellow concrete, just to give you an idea where the frames meet. Nearly there. Yeah. As I say in later videos, I will be doing the cranes as well and the um, the rope connection points as well. So there's plenty well to do, but this is just the basic video today on how to do the cargo holds and the well deck. Go. Get Connect it all up. As I say, if anyone's taking notice of my videos and I just build a Titanic, give us a email shout or maybe some pictures of it. I'd like to see it. It'd be great. I always take an interest in people's builds. And like I say, get the gate con concrete go around the frame of it. There we go. Okay. So we don't lose track where we are. So that in, that in. Also, I quite heard from what I read as well and watching the films, the well deck was also a fairly popular place when the iceberg hit because there was all the ice on the deck and a couple of third class passengers didn't take much notice of the danger at the time. And I think they were playing football with it as well. Which is, I think, is a scene from one of my favourite films in Night to Remember. See if I can put it on the video for you. Let's just remove these frames now. That gone, that gone. Not long to go now, guys. So yeah, this is pretty hard to do on Xbox controller. I don't have like world edits or anything like that to copy and paste it all, which I did. I don't think they could do it on Xbox One console. There we go. So that's what it should look like. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump cut. I'm going to do the other side, cargo hold number two. Also, as well, while I'm on, make sure you have orange concrete. Well, I've got terracotta there. That's not going to be any good, Matt. Uh, so I'll get orange concrete. And on frame 101, so I marked up there. Basically this one here at the bottom of the frame. Just mark an orange line for now. It's about to where the white line is here. The inside quartz, which I'll explain why I'm doing that in a moment. But for now, I'm going to do a jump cut. So I'll say I'll be right back to show you what the final piece is to end the video on. Back in a moment. Right, there we go, folks. So that's how the cargo holds. Three and two should look like now. Now we're just going to do one or two more details now before we finish the video. So get your orange concrete. You need to go around the outside of the frame. Okay, so do the bottom two foot two levels here. Go straight across. I basically just fill it in. Okay. Now I like to do my square like a certain square, just like my walls and everything like that. I like to leave a gap like there. I think it just looks a bit more smooth around the outside. But if you want to go right to the end and fill it in like that, by all means. But that's not how I would do it. Okay? And then get your block of quartz. Now, when you do to the end, don't go at the end here because this is going to be the wall. All you need to do is go around the outside here and here. And then you get a quartz slab and you just put it on top. It's basically, this is the hatch. Okay. 
But I'm not going to do the uh, top side first. Oh, we go on there. We go. I'll just fill it in there for now. And there we go. Okay. And you do for the same for hatch number three. So get your orange concrete. Okay. Just basically pull it right across. Go from smooth stone to smooth stone edge. Do the same again. There we go. Pull it right across. And the other way as well. Final one now. There we go. So get your quartz slabs. Well, I'll do the slabs at the top first. There we go. Put it right to the end. And get your quartz blocks of quartz. And just put the top on. And we pretty much finished the cosmetics at the top of the hatches. There we go. So this should look like this. There we go. Obviously, you're going to make it like, I say I'm only doing one side, but I also say if you're building this, you'll have a complete square by now. Now, the other two little bit details now is get your orange concrete. So, where I say this is below, below the forecast deck. This line I actually put down, it needs to go six high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and you just pull it right to the center. And pull it to the outside of the, towards the forecast on the whole side. Pull it right across. There you go, so it should be about there. Because it's in line with the C deck just there, you see. Okay, now, and basically you can just fill it in for now as I say we will be like getting rid of some blocks later on in a couple of videos time as we put in details such as the doors uh, but for now we're just going to get this design in there you go fill it all in so let me just double check actually how high did I make this I think it was five guys Yes, it was five. I apologize. So it's five high. Five high, not six. So let's get rid of that top, top line. There we go. Fill that in as well. And that as well. Excellent. Okay, and if you want to now, get your box of quartz and you can fill in this top section as well. Okay. So you get the idea. Right, uh, last details now is the the side here, so from the edge of the ship. You could just fill in with orange concrete. say if you do like what I do I mean please give it a like or subscribe it just help the channel as I say I would like to hear from you guys if you do want to build this as a YouTube project I'll ask for as a little bit of credit where you got the design from and uh, oh, send us a link to your video like to watch see what designs you do differently from mine there we go finish the top there come on nearly at the end go just two more to go here oh in the previous video I think I did the end blocks there in grey concrete you can remove them and replace them with orange ones okay so there we're done so what you can do now is you can get quartz stairs Replace each block, top block of these ones here, just to make it a bit more smooth lined. Or streamlined, doesn't it? <laughs> Say, oh, makes it look a bit more nicer. Okay, and we just need to do the curves that were some of the forecastle and sea deck. 
Okay, so what you need to do now is get your block of quartz, go straight to the top, roughly about here, put one block in and fill it in from the bottom. One block again. Keep going. Keep going. And keep going. Till you get to the bottom. But then when you get to the bottom, put one more block along. And then get your slab. Well, sorry, your stairs. And then fill them in. There you go. And you need to do the same for this towards this superstructure here. So let's see how high it was again. If you just bear with me. Okay, so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks high. Seven blocks high. And put it on the line of the terracotta. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. <laughs> Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one. And then another one. And the stairs. There we go. And what you can do now is continue with your quartz slab and just go above the black terracotta. Just the terracottas only. There we go. I was supposed we could. There we go. Just fill all that in. There you go. So it should look like this. Let's go to the outside as well. Yes, they uh, look a bit more like the Olympic and the Titanic. Right, so also as well, as I say, you do need to fill the outer hall and the interior. Obviously, when you get on the inside of your quartz, which I've been doing here, go from the bottom, get some quartz stairs and basically fill, put the quartz stairs just to make it a bit more smoother. there because that's above there you go keep going and going and going till you basically run out but it's quite a lot here and on the other side as well like I say I've not done anything for stairs and the black terracotta because terracotta, there isn't there's, there's basically nothing nice as well to do it and don't forget your slate stairs to do the keel slate stairs so I can find them there we are slate stairs deep slate actually. I have to apologise, I'm feeling this quite late at night so I'm getting a little tired. So I'll put it on the bottom of the keel. Pull it right across so it joins up. There we go. I say fill it all in as well, the lower hull. And also of course get your crimson plank stairs. And same as before, like the quartz on the inside, you just need to go right across along each frame, basically to smooth it out. And obviously, you also need to pull them across as well as you fill it in. But like I say, do the blocks first. Okay? And I'm back again, guys. So, like I say, I ran out of time again. So, we got to the top of the world deck here. And what you need is oak wood slabs or birch but I'm going to do oak on the Titanic which I'll quickly show you here I have been using birch because it's a little lighter but for this one I'm going to be using oak wood slabs but it's due to the um, skin pack as well so all you need to do which is steampunk which I'm using by the way so on the top of each frame all you need to do now is fill it all in. Just do a couple more here. And I'll resort to the jump cut, which is going to be for the final time. So I apologise if the video has been a bit lengthy, but as I say, the details do be taken seriously. Okay, and like I say, when you come to these sections here, just go around them. So basically we're filling the roof. And the good thing as well is, 
when we come to do the lower section, when you look up, you know, we can easily replace this roof. You won't be seeing that with another slab, so it could be like this. That's how I do my roofs. Or well, ceilings, I should say. Okay, so I'll do a few more slabs. I'll stop the video. And it's the final jump cut. Because it does take a while. Okay, so it should start looking like that. But as I say, we need to fill in all this section here. Does this lower section. So I'll be back, guys. For the final section of the video. Okay, folks. So we've come to the end now. And this is what it should look like. So after you fill in the well deck with your oak planks and cut away both cargo holes three and two and also on the inside as well. That's what it should look like. I've done the completed the outside hole as well, which I'll just fly around here for you. There you go. All filled in and completed in. And also I should point out as well as you, when you put the deck on, you'll find out it starts to get darker underneath. So what I recommend you do is below the grey concrete and by one quart slab, replace it with a sea lantern. It just gives it a bit more light. And trust me, you will need it because eventually we'll be adding more decks, more rooms, and it's going to get darker. So I'll probably recommend you put some in before we go the whole length of the ship. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Sorry if it's been another long one today, but thank you for sticking with me. Uh, so like I say, I don't know whether to continue on to the bow with more frames, get it done, or I might start on the boiler rooms as well, because I like to keep it a bit different. But, uh, you know, if you like to use this build as a downloadable project or to be using your own YouTube videos, please feel free. However, I would appreciate if you would give a mention or a shout out of my Normandy Junction channel. And always, I'd like to thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a like and be sure to subscribe for all the latest videos from my channel. And especially a thank you to all my current subscribers and my new current ones that's joining me as well. And it does mean a lot and it helps my channel grow. Right, so I'm going to leave it now, guys. So, till next time, all gamers, boys and girls, adults, and whatever you, whatever you are, I just want you to enjoy yourselves building the build and let me know how you're getting on with it. And I bid you all a very good farewell. Good night.